in John 18, 36, why did the Lord tell the Jews his kingdom was not of this world when in fact his kingdom was going to be established on this earth? Isn't the millennial kingdom on the earth? It is. So let's read John 18, 36 and see if you can tell me what the answer is. John 18, verse 36. Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. So what's the answer? The answer is in the last phrase. But now is my kingdom not from hence. During the Lord's first coming, was he going to establish the kingdom? He was going to die on the cross. Yes? The purpose of the first coming, the Lord had his earthly ministry of three years. He was going to die on the cross. And then was, where was he going to ascend to? He's going to ascend to the Father's right hand. Was his kingdom of this world at that time? No. Will his kingdom be on this world at a future time? Yes, it will, immediately after the second coming. So let's read the verse again and just see how it tells you the answer. Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. That was true at the time. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Remember when Peter grabs his sword? Was Peter ready to fight? Yes. And what did the Lord say? Sh put it in the sheath, right? Don't, don't. Put, put away your sword. We're not going to fight. That I should not be delivered to the Jews. Jesus Christ's purpose was to be delivered to the Jews, wasn't it? He was, he was going to die on the cross. It was his intentional desire to do that. And then just notice the little words here. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Not now, but will it be? Yes, it will be. It will be established on the earth after the second coming. Let me make one more point. In, in John 18, 36, he, he says that his servants would fight if it, his purpose now was to establish the kingdom. And he tells Peter not to fight. Think about what happens at the second coming. There's not simply a fight. It's Armageddon, right? Blood flows for 200 miles. The most decisive, conclusive military conflict in history will be the second coming. The Lord will return at the second coming. All the earthly powers that don't want him to reign that do not welcome him coming back, they will assemble, they will fight him, and what will they do? They will perish. They will be destroyed. They, they will be annihilated. The Lord establishes his millennial kingdom, not by majority vote, not by consensus, but by overwhelming military victory, is what he does.